Welcome everyone to your classes Learn German with Shilpa Das. Today's topic is article in German language. Yes, so today uh, we will discuss the articles in German language. How many types of articles are there in German and what are those? So let me tell you that you know there are two types of articles in German. One is the definite article and one is the indefinite article. The definite article in German is known as Bestimmter article and the indefinite article is known as the Unbestimmter article. I am again repeating the definite article in German is known as the Bestimmter article and the indefinite article in German is known as the Unbestimmter article. Today we will discuss the definite articles in German which are the Bestimmter article. So as you can see that you know I have made a chart here and in this chart I have mentioned uh, on one side I have mentioned case and gender okay. So you can see the cases in the vertical format that is nominative which is the subject case, accusative which is the direct object case, dative which is the indirect object case and genitive which is the possessive case. Okay. So these are the four cases as we all know that you know in German we have four cases nominative, accusative, dative and genitive. And you can see here that I have mentioned masculine, feminine, neuter und plural. So we all know that you know uh, in German language we have this gender specification. We have different categories where we separate the articles under masculine, feminine, neutral und plural. So if you can see here, the first article there is nominative masculine. Then D is nominative feminine. Das is nominative neut neutral or neuter. Und D is again nominative plural. Okay, I'm again re repeating. Der, D, Das, D. There is nominative masculine, D is nominative feminine, thus is nominative neutral, and again D is nominative plural. Now, in the second case, which is the accusative case, you can see this is Dane, D, Das, D. So, Dain is again accusative masculine in which you can see that there changes to Dain. But the rest of the articles which are D, Das and D remains same or they are actually similar to the nominative articles. Okay. Then we have Dative. In Dative, you have den, der, den, den plus n. So the masculine is den, then feminine is der, then neuter is den, and again the plural is den plus n. In the similar way, in genitive, we have des plus es order s, then der in feminine. Then again, des plus es order s in your neuter und der in plural. So these are the articles, the definite articles in German language. All these articles mean the in English. Like we say the Taj Mahal, the Red Fort. Okay, anything which is specific. Okay. So the, the, 
those all those specific things comes under definite article so this is the chart of the definite article so don't get confused that there is something else the something else and thus is something else no so all these articles mean the it is just that that because in german we have gender specification so we have masculine feminine neuter und plural these are the categories given to these articles and under each and different cases we have different articles okay so this is your definite articles in the next class i will discuss the indefinite article with you till then i would like all of you you just go through with this concept and if you have any doubt you can always come up to me thank you for your patience and thank you for watching my video thank you so much